The first semi-final featured England versus New Zealand in what was scripted to be one of the great Rugby World Cup battles. The All Blacks may have won 15 of their last 16 encounters against the now number two ranked side in the world, but the English were confident heading into this match off the back of an impressive quarter-final performance. New Zealand's demolition of Ireland further confirmed their status as tournament favourites and everything was on the line at International Stadium Yokohama as the two powerhouses looked to progress to the final. We are rolling on semi-final number one, New Zealand v England and they mix it up right from the kickoff. England into the All Blacks, 22 they go. Settling at the base there is Smith who box kicks up over halfway and England will be happy to play the first line out of the night. I'm Sean Maloney alongside me, Welsh Test Centurion Martin Williams. Sideline is Carl Tanana. KT, the pitch in front of you yesterday underwater. It looks okay now. Yeah, drains pretty well here in Yokohama. They had some rain last week. It didn't affect the whatsoever. First line out. In steps, Jamie George. He finds Laws down off the top, Ford. They bash it up through hard-running Tuolangi. Continue to work it around the corner here. Shifting wide now, looking to get Watson into the play. Lovely ball from Daly to Watson, who was a real handful last week in the win against Australia. Good quick ball here for the English. Ford, deep. Farrell sends it wide. In the line goes Daly. Daly loops it long and finds a freewheeling front rower out wide. George into the 22, deep in now. Lovely hands to Sinclair. He keeps it alive. England moving hard and up the park here, five away. It began back on the 50 metre line. Bang it in close here through Laws. They pick and go and they're over. It is a rapid strike for England. And Manu Tuolungi's name goes up in line to Yokohama. What a start from this English team. Ball in hand. That man started it with a carry in midfield. Good quick ball for Youngs. Bruce Elliott Daly on the outside. Just got on the outside of the drift. Missed tackle. Great play from Watson. You spoke about him showing he was electric against Australia. Keeps the momentum going, keeps pumping his legs. Great offload from Courtney Laws, keep the ball alive, Carl Sinclair, George Ford was in. Two or three phases later, and the power of Tuolangi. This is what this England team can do. So powerful, so effective, so skillful. And that's a wake-up call for the All Blacks. They've got numbers across this near side. Good you. Good you going himself. Look at a leak on the outside. Silky hands across for Bridge, who beats the first up tackle of Curry. Brave stuff from New Zealand. Barrett into the line. Barrett holding it up beautifully. Utoje goes across with a key tackle. Smith back short side. Reese. Sevu Reese. He diced Island last week and puts some. Um, Feet to work on that occasion. A bit. Marco Vorni Polo read well by Tuolangi. Here you go, England again. May looking to outpace Barrett. Desperate defence. Still with May, then dropped. Then dropped and now back with New Zealand. It is frenetic from both sides. Somehow, New Zealand avoid conceding more points. Whitelock, Savia. And now the penalty advantage for New Zealand. Smith sniping. High tackle was a call there against Utoje. Good Hugh trying to grab him behind and we'll go back to the mark. Whoa, Martin Williams. Take a breather, everybody. We've still got 72 of this to go. <laughs> Thought he was in. Watch the work of big Scotty Barrett. He's got the angle of Johnny Me, but that's brilliant work from the big man. Fumbled from Farrell. Good read from Manu Tuolangi. They will rush defence England. Laws. Beautiful again. Makavunapola. The prop. Pushes ahead in the midfield. Here's his brother, Billy Vunapola. Slick hands for May to Daly. Now with Watson. New Zealand slide across in cover. Watson heads back in field. 
Youngs. Billy Vunapola. Savia over the top. Makes it ugly at the back. Nothing happening. Here's Laws. Good recycle. And again, the England power runners line up for another crack at New Zealand. It's Mako Vunapola. He's six run already. Here's brother Billy. Billy desperate for the offload. Can't get it away. They're moving though. They're moving in the right direction. That's play on! It's play on! It's a try for England. In goes Sam Underhill. Yeah, I think this is right in front of us. I think this one is coming back. Nigel always is going to check for obstruction. Justin Curry's overrun. Mark Williams. Yeah, I think a penny for, me, for your thoughts. White Lock has turned in, but I think the fact that he's gone in front of the ball carrier Curry Correct. will suggest it's going to be overturned. Because your number six has gone past the ball, it means he's offside. And because he missed your contact, he's taken away the opportunity of a defender. So no, not if he's over this. So he's in front of the ball carrier, therefore it's a penalty. If he was in line, not a problem, but he's in front. No try, okay? After no try. Yeah, they've got away with one New Zealand. Clear obstruction by Ben Curry. George this time, standing in the tackle, offloading well. Then the kick on the other side. Alan Farrell, a little ginger in back play here for England. Barrett! Keeps it alive for Ritali. Has Sevilla on his hip, can't find him. Good use there, though. Good you for Barrett. Bowden Barrett back for Good you. Good you into touch. That's what they can do just when you think you've got New Zealand. They can create something out of nothing. It's the first bad kick, really, from George Ford straight to Mwanga. Up the middle, poor pass from Ritali. Good you keeps it alive, but. Just look at the white bodies getting back to scramble and get good who in to touch. But you cannot switch off for a split second against this New Zealand team. Two and a half to go in the first 40. It has been thriller second stuff, and now it's ripped away by New Zealand. A huge play under pressure, and their line out snaps one back from England. Smith, good you. Moonga, no look, ball across for Bowden Barrett. Sevi Reese has hardly had a handle after 38 minutes of action. Can they stun England here in the shadows of half time? Taylor. Ford with a good tackle. Moonga, there's that rush D from England. A workout okay after the initial miss from Curry. Moonga looking for options and bereft of them across to the right. Now England strong with a counter. Steal for England and it'll come one of their kickers and it might just be 10 zip at the break. That's huge from England. Oh, it's big all bust on everything at England that time. That man, Manu Tulang, he just. He's shooting up on the outside and he's cutting off Mwanga's options. He's not, he's scared to throw, he's got intercepted earlier. Just see the man on the outside, he's shooting up, puts Mwanga into two minds, turns into the big fellas, and we saw one of the kamikaze kids get over the ball and win a penalty just a split second ago that time. Sam Underhill over the ball, wins the penalty, and a well-deserved smile on Manu Tuolangi's face. What a first half from this English team. So with Owen Farrell not moving too well, in steps Ford to take the shot at the poles. It's George Ford. George Ford. 45 from home. Ford looking to draw it back. Ford, it's got enough on it. England go up by 10. Big kick from George Ford. 
Gives England effectively a two-score barrier. 10-0, totally deserved. Dominated this New, New Zealand team in the first half. Kicked it just before the clock has turned 40 in red, so still an opportunity for New Zealand to get something on the board. Lovely hands from Laws and Watson. Wants no part of that. It kicks the touch. That is some way to get our semi-finals moving and shaking at the Rugby World Cup. At the break in semi one, it is England up by 10 over the All Blacks. After a clinical first half, England showed the world they were up for the challenge against the men in black, but Eddie Jones's men would need to continue in that vein and more to defend their 10 0 lead. Barrett goes up, Daly outleaps him, it's going to fall here for Sinclair, I think it is. What a game he's had. Now the grubber in behind. Tidied up by New Zealand. Lost then after the contact. It's a big clean out from England. Laws. He's been a tower at line out time. Short to Mako Vunipola. Ridden down by Taylor. Ford. Ford. Keeping alive out the back. Tidied up by Vunipola. Billy. Now it's loose for Johnny May. Two tries last week inside three minutes against Australia in his 50th test match. Sinclair away for Billy Vanapola. Back short side, Farrell in. Numbers are okay as well, but it's read by Reese. Reese then throws it loose back for Youngs, who grubbers ahead. Barrett left to tidy up, but Toje over the top holds his feet well. Can he get the turnover? He forces the penalty. It's lung-busting stuff from both sides. And on this occasion, England with a huge result. Oh, it's frantic as you thought Reese was away. Just scrambled back, brilliant anticipation for Youngs. Puts the grubber in, but it wanted to find it in field, but look at it, he's just swarming all over the New Zealand breakdown at the moment. All the England forwards, the front five, the back row, Atoje, George over the ball, like vultures forcing the All Blacks off their feet and a big, big moment in this game. To Itoje. Itoje rips it down for England. The counter mauling is excellent from New Zealand. Checked once. Now they edge it a little closer. Oh, it's a tough handle at the back there in slippery conditions. Young, Youngs! England! Go clear by 15! Well, they backed themselves, England. They went for the five-metre line-out instead of taking the three. And the gamble has paid off. Controlled precision. Twice. I think it was Billy Vanapola. Nearly lost the ball. Oh, did that go forward? No. Question mark. As the minute TMO hasn't picked it up. And now he, he has. has now. Yeah. Just juggled. I think that. Yeah, I think if you'd see, they've lost control. Italics in this strip in the ball, but there just goes on the front leg of the England mall, who then regathers it. So that for me has gone forward. The TMO has clear views in front of him, and Ian just does what he sees. It is lost by your player. But it, the guy who guards it is in front of him, so that's why we can't allow it. Yeah, but he's in front of him, so he's. Oh, and please listen to my explanation. The TMO was confirmed, okay? What well, we looks like it's on the screen as well. But the gun from the player behind loses control of it and taken by the player in front of him. So therefore, we cannot allow the try because he is in front. If he was behind him, it's not an issue. So, so no try. No so try. No, nothing. Nothing at that. Well, well, well. How many lives have the All Blacks got at the second disallowed try? Youngs, dummying. Ford, it's over red on the outside. They go without. Back is the call, but New Zealand are in possession now. Good Hugh. Bounce pass across for Barrett. Tries to get his way clear. England over the top again. It's Curry. Curry with a steal. 
Oh, it's super work from the young back rower. Wow. Now with Marco Vunapola. He runs into Whitelock. Cole getting his arms around him. George. Youngs. Ford. Holding it up. Now they punch it towards the 22 again. Youngs. Utoje with some room almost got through. It was a desperate low tackle from Nella. They came off the hand there surely of Smith. Okay, yep. Knock on advantage here for England. Tackle off the ball, in fact. England. Here they come through Slade. Ten from home. Farrell helping secure. Two along in there at scrum half. They had five wiped off moments ago. Can they convert this time around? Youngs, they fold open. It's bouncing across the deck. It's scrappy and no real advantage. Who's this one on? Kane. Sam Kane on Billy Vinopola, and it's an absolute laydown shot from right in front. Here's the chip shot from Ford. Boom! Throw another three on the board for England. They're up by 13. Lynette Brown. Lynette Brown looking to freeze arms. Finally, they put themselves inside the England 22 here in New Zealand. Moody. Perinara. Out the back it comes. And then there's some Monster D in the midfield. It was Underhill with a shot. Perinara. Bowden Barrett slides in behind, but it hits some boots on the way through and bounces back for Bowden Barrett. Perinara. Out the back to Reed. Bowden Barrett. Kane, lovely hands for Sonny Williams. Over to Sebu Reese. Sebu Reese bouncing a touch. Were there any arms in that tackle oh, from yeah. Slade? Great work by Tuolangi, cover tackle on Sebu Reese. Finally get to the outside, Sonny Bill over the top. Backs himself, Reese goes to the corner. George. Oh, it's overthrown to Arnie! Sevilla, New Zealand are on the board! Game on! Oh, they're back in this one. The England line-out which has worked to perfection all evening. The one you have to nail five metres out, overthrown in Adi Sevilla. Christmas has come early for the All Black open side. He's over, KT, and they're back in it. Oh, the competition from Brody Wittelli getting up and challenging. Mario Watoja has been so solid, as you spoke about, Martin, exactly what New Zealand needed. Dan Coles knows the importance of that. Championship style play from England. Youngs to Billy Vunapola. Getting closer. Youngs looking up now. Nothing happening short side. Goes back to Marco Vunipola. And now putting it to work in tight. They'll take some stopping in here with their huge Forward pack England, Youngs. Surveys, what's the play? Vuni Pola. Vuni Pola peels out, penalty advantage here for England. Youngs. Ben Youngs. They've got numbers on the outside. Oh, oh floats it over to Ford. It's grassed and we're coming back for the penalty. Ford with the opportunity. Ford nails it. England 16, New Zealand 7, and we've got 17 to play. Sam Whitelock has never lost a World Cup game. He's off the park. He's going to let his squad try and fashion a victory late here. Down by nine, Atoje again at the line-out. He's jumped well on his own ball, and he's put pressure on when New Zealand have been pinging it in. Hines rolls out. Penalty advantage here as well for England. 
Hines, Utoje. Hines, deep for Farrell. Billy Vunapola. Towards the 22, still under advantage here. And we're heading back. There's the call, it goes against Brody Retallick. And you'd imagine the kicking tee is going to be sent out directly. Oh, 100%, usually so disciplined New Zealand. And this time Retallick gives a penalty away. Ford, George Ford. Pipes it right on through. 19. Play seven, and we've only got ten to run. England are clear. Perinara. Barrett holding it up for Retallick. Perinara. Sonny Williams. Swings it out the back. Kane isolated. There is just no way through this English wall. The full-time gong goes at Yokohama International and still they keep whacking England. They're happy without the ball than with at the moment. They're really tenderising the All Blacks. They come up again. Sonny Williams, Jard. They are all out on their feet. It has been an absorbing, physical, platinum class semi-final that sees England kicking it backwards for Geordie Barrett. No, no, no. And that sums up the game. Fast paced and fantastic. And it's England who come away as winners. Eddie Jones has done it again. He has masterminded a huge World Cup upset. His men are too good for the All Blacks. Full time, England 19, New Zealand 7. Oh, look, firstly, just like to congratulate England. I think they played a tremendous game of footy and um, on the day deserved to win the game. And, you know, you can't, uh, you can't give them half a step because they'll take it. So, at the end of the day, that's what rugby's about. And uh, well done to them. It's a big game. It's a World Cup semi-final against the All Blacks. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's as big as game as you can get in this stage. And uh, you know, we felt like we prepared well, and um, we started the game well. All these big games, teams get physical. They go at each other from the off, and we knew that that was going to come our way. And we wanted to make sure that we were, we were playing that game too. England recorded an emphatic victory to topple the world's best in Yokohama and advance to the 2019 Rugby World Cup Final.